pigs are a good scavenger and therefore they are feeding on dead animals that might have died from TB. And they're a good indicator of whether there is disease in the area. Now I don't know how to tell if a pig's got TB or not. If a pig's got TB, it is very, very highly likely that it is in the head. There's six glands that we'll look for, and we're actually looking for pus, a yellow, cheesy pus, which is in the glands. If you find something in a pig's head, just stop, double bag it, put it in a dog tucker freezer, give us a call. If you're on a farm, and you're not the farmer, landowner, give the farmer a yell. He'll point you in the right direction there. Just as we're having a yarn, there's another thing that worries us as hunters, pig hunters, deer hunters, and that's about recognising whether an animal's got a disease and what effect that's going to have on the edibility of the meat. If you found something in the carcass itself, I wouldn't take that animal home, I would leave it there, I would let TB free know or the landowner know and I would not consume it. When it comes to the risk of consuming that meat yourself or we're still giving potentially diseased meat to your children, mm. you don't want to go there for no. the sake of a pig. No. It's quite simple to check out to see whether the animal has got a lesion or not. And we can do that, grab a knife and we'll um, just take you through some of the uh, places that we look. With the pigs, what we do is we skin down the top here. You're going hard on the bone, are you? Not too hard on the bone, you're sort of trying to stick more to the, the skin rather than the bone. Okay. Try and leave as much meat on there as possible on the skin. Yeah, that'll do, about there. Now we're looking for just in the point of the jaw on the inside there, you're looking for a gland in there, and there it goes there. Now, just the consistency of the gland, it's a bit different from everything else there, and we just slice it up, and we slice it up, we're just looking for any pus or anything there, and that one looks quite clean. So if we start over here more, and we cut back towards you, just slicing, looking. Find the gland first. You find the gland first. Haven't found it yet. Just keep on slicing back towards deeper. you. Back this way. Is that it there? Might be up there, slice that and see whether that's it. Yep, that's, that's it. it, that's it, alright. just slice that, and we're just looking for it. And uh, that's one of six, you said? That's one of six. And the other five are in the head as well? Yep. And that's right on the corner of the jawbone? It is, yes. Okay. I've turned the head around, facing the other way. And that gland there has a buddy on this side. Okay. Well, I haven't found anything undesirable yet. The main thing is, is when you start, when we take the skin off the jaw, you, you try and leave as much meat on the rest of the head so we're not actually cutting those glands out. Yes. So they're actually still left behind yes. so we can check them. The other thing is, if you're taking the head off, to take home, don't go cutting too close to the jaw. We like to have a bit of meat left on the animal around the bottom of the jaw because the next gland that we're looking for is in there, in the corner there. So if you want to skin down the side of the jaw and then from the point of the jaw there, we're going to cut in around the jaw itself. So we're going in around the jaw and we're pulling 
this meat off here because we're after that gland there. There's a gland just in there under the jaw. See it there? I think that's it there. So you just give that a slice. Yep, that's it, alright. There's nothing here, eh? No, that's all good. Don't rub it. Shall we look there? That goes there. There. We'll give that a pass, will we? That's a pass. Right. So now we do the same on the other side of the jaw. So these lymph nodes that we're looking at, these glands, the three sets of double. Around the bottom of the line of the jaw again. It just pops out like that. Down right there. Right here. Yeah, it's popped up. It's a good thing. Right. That's four down, two to go. Now, the next one is in below the tongue. So what you need to do is pull the tongue back like this down very, very small, just there. And quite often this is the one where we will find TB in. And it's one on each side? One on each side, yep. There we go, right there. Very, very small, one on each side. And <clears throat> if there's something in them, They'll swell up and you'll see the pus because the bacteria gets filtered into the glands and the immune system of the body will start attacking the TB and it will swell up and you'll get quite a bit reasonable sized lesion. Yep. All right, I'll see if I can find it. Right through the esophagus. Right Right through there, trying to get in down through there. That's it. Just looking down the sides here. Yep, see there and there. Wow, they're small. They are. You may have trouble seeing them at all, but like I said, if they're infected with TB, they'll swell up and you'll see the pus in them and they'll be quite. Quite distinctive. All clear on that side. Yep. I can't see it on just this on side. On that side, just slice through the ear and you'll see it there. That's it there, yeah. is it? Yep. We've got a couple of good ones here. Yep. They're safe to eat. Pork tonight. Yes. Okay. Now if you did find something, I'd bag it up rubbish bag or something like that, a, a bin liner, something like that. And just to be on the safe side, I'd bag it twice. Be safe enough to put in a dog tucker freezer or something. Um, I'd ring TB free. Most people are carrying a smartphone these days. If you get a GPS coordinate, that would be good. But we need to have accurate information about where that animal came from. A lot of hunters, they, they want the jaw, because the jaw's got the, the um, tusk yep. in them, and some of the tusks are quite uh, yep. valued as a prize. Uh, so they actually extract the jaw by doing more than what we've done, get yep. the meat off the cheeks and things like that, and then boil up the bone. So we're actually digging in here with our knives and taking the tongue out and skinning it off like this. And then we end up with this bottom jaw. And then we throw it in a billy and boil it, hit it with a water blaster and then hang it yep. in the shed. If we can have... And we haven't looked at any yep. of these lymph nodes in the process of doing that. Quite often if there's TB there and you're taking the jaw out, you'll find it. The lesions are swollen up, you're making the cuts there, around here, and you're going down through there. So if you do find something, stop and bag it. We save the jaws. If a person wants a jaw, save 
getting sent back to them, we do that on a regular basis. But we want to see the jaw because that's what you use for the ageing. The age of the pig is quite important because it lets us know how long that the disease has been in the area for. So if we have a pig that's six months of age and it's got TB, it's relatively um, a sure thing to say that it has got the disease in that local area. Also, if the pig is six months of age, the disease has been in that area within the last six months, as opposed to finding TB in a pig that could be three or four years of age might have caught the disease in another area totally and, you know, there might not be any more infection in the possums and ferrets in that area, but you don't know because the pig is two or three years of age or whatever. So the age of the pig is very important. Thanks, Steve, for showing me how to uh, check out the lymph nodes in the pig's head. It makes me feel better and more confident about taking healthy meat home to my family and my friends to eat. So that's a good place for me. If I inspected this pig and I found an infection or more infections, ring the 800 number, bag it, we will come out and we will get it. We have got staff pretty well covered throughout New Zealand and we will sample it. No cost. And this is the bit you want, the head? The head. If it's an infected carcass, we will take it, we'll get rid of it for you. That is not an issue. This is all just a part of the eradication of bovine TB from New Zealand.